On Saturday night, July the 28th, professional wrestling has a pleasure returning to the Washington metropolitan area. On the 28th of July at the beautiful Capitol Center, the Valiant Brothers, Jimmy, Johnny, and Jerry are scheduled to square off in six-man tag team competition against Steve Travis. Ted DiBiase and their tag team partner, the one and the only Andre the Giant. In addition to the six-man tag team presentation, surely we're looking forward to the Worldwide Wrestling Federation title defense of Bob Backlund squaring off against Dick the Bulldog Brower, the one-man riot squad. However, at this moment, again, let's make reference to the six-man match, and in doing so, let's bring on the infamous threesome of the Valiant brothers, Jimmy, Johnny, and Jerry. However, I think that this is one occasion, John Valiant, in which your family will be tested, perhaps as never before, given the caliber of the, your competition. Interesting observation, but doesn't necessarily mean it's right. What I'd like to relate to the people right now, young Vince McMahon Jr., is a simple fact. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think you're out of gas now, how do you think that Andre the Giant's going to feel? How do you think that Ted DiBiase and Steve Travis are going to feel, baby? How do you feel when they got a $3 limit? I'm going to fix it up so they got a five, five cent limit. In fact, I'll cut off all the gas. I'll cut off the oil on them. And then I'll take that stick and I'll shove it someplace you know where. Right up their nose. And I'll say you're down half a quart. I'll tag handsome Jimmy. He'll come in, check his oil. I'll bring in gentleman Jerry. He'll come in there, give him a straight ah. inspection. And when it's all over, baby, soda station. We love six, daddy. We love six, baby. We had six eggs over easy this morning for breakfast. We had six T-bones last night. I got six Doberman pictures. My brother's got six Cadillacs, Jack. We love six. We love six. Six men. Let me tell you something, Andre. You better curb your dog, baby. You better curb that dog you're going around with. You better curb him. The Valiant Brothers, Jimmy, Johnny, and Jerry, preparing themselves for six-man tag team competition. We may now, let's bring a semblance of order out here. Indeed, a great pleasure to have the World Wrestling Federation title holder, Bob Backlund. Bob, your opposition on the 28th of July at the Capitol Center, a man who unquestionably will not rival you as far as scientific knowledge is concerned, Dick the Bulldog Brower, a, a real brawling type of individual. Yes, he is, Vince. I know the man very, very well, and I, I guess I can forget about trying to wrestle this man. He's going to come out there and try to kick and punch and uh, beat me any way he can, and that's what I'm going to be ready for. I know the captain's got him keyed up, and uh, he wants his belt pretty bad, but Vince, I want it pretty bad, too. Uh, it's something that I've worked for all my life, and uh, there's a lot of fans out there in the Washington area that have been supporting me, and I'm going to give them 100% and uh, try to keep it right where it's at, Vince. How do you how do you attempt to cope with the tactics of Brower? Do you kind of lay back and pick your shots and move in then, or do you try and stay on top of him uh, from the uh, opening bell? Exactly how would you go about protecting yourself against the likes of a Brower? Well, I know he's going to come right after me, so I'm going to have to just fight fire with fire and go right after him, Vince. I'm going to go uh, full force right ahead at him and uh, see what happens, Vince. Uh, give it all I got and. Uh, Pray, pray to God that I don't get hurt because uh, he is a wild man and he does try to injure people, but uh, I'm going to try to win. You bring out the fact that uh, he does indeed attempt to injure people on occasion. Perhaps it's more important to Dick the Bulldog Brower to do that to the champion than it is to him to take the title from you. Well, uh, that's possible, Vince. Uh, he's a sadistic type person and uh, he will try to hurt me. I, I, I know that, but uh, I'm going to have to try to prevent that because uh, I have to defend the title, and uh, I'm going to defend it proudly, and I'm going to try to win. Thank you very much. Bob Backlund, hopeful of a successful title defense in the Washington metropolitan area. If we may now, let's bring on the number one contender, Dick the Bulldog Brower, along with his manager, Captain Lou Albano. You know, McMahon, I've waited a long time for this opportunity, and it's finally arrived. We've signed for a match with Bob Backlund for the World Wide Wrestling Federation title. And I am very proud to say that, that I've been looking forward for this opportunity, and I feel that I have the next champion in my stable. I'm Bulldog Dick Brower. I'm ready, and uh, we've trained, uh, perhaps the, the hardest training of his life. The man is, yes, very radical. Uh, yes, uh, not orthodox in his style, but uh, he has done serious training. He has been four to five hours daily under a, a, a high-protein concentrated diet. Uh, the man is at the best of condition. All I want to say is this. Lou Albano is the manager of the world champions, the tag team. Now soon, Backlund, he's going to have me. I listen to everything that the, that the captain says because I know that he won't steer me wrong. I know that Albano is smart. I know that Backlund will be running scared. And Backlund, I'm going to get you. I'm going to make Albano proud of me. 
Captain Lou Albano having two champ the world tag team champions. We shall the, return in a moment. Worldwide Wrestling Federation.